Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Friday, November the 11th, and here are today's top headlines. A Tesla goes up in flames after crashing into two cars in Garden Grove. How good Samaritans rushed in to help. A Southern California crime spree from Riverside to Ventura County. Sophisticated burglary crews strike again, targeting home. Plus, the new airline heading for the OC. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. We made it! Happy Friday to you. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. We appreciate you being with us. We'll check your rose of ginger. Coming up shortly for such a weather. Yeah. Veterans Day. Yes. Veterans, Veterans Day. Day. Very important yeah. uh, day, of course. And uh, should be a nice start to the weekend. Oh, nice. Been cool out there this morning. Sun, uh, plenty of sunshine, but should be a great weekend as well. So, uh, first off, let's talk about what's in store when you walk out the door. It's chilly out there. We do have temperatures that are well below the average, and we're going to see that once again. Uh, Eddie, if I can get you to press the button for me, I'd appreciate it. We have temperatures that will generally fall about five degrees short of our average, maybe a little bit more in some spots. 71 for the San Fernando Valley, downtown 71. Again, mid 70s would be about the norm. We do have increasing clouds. Some areas did start to feel those winds picking up a little bit overnight, and we do have some windy spots, especially in through parts of inland Orange County. I know the IE coming out of Riverside, Corona, Chino, uh, you're looking at some windy conditions. We still have that freeze warning in the high desert up to 9 a.m. this morning, so we got to wait for that sun to come out and start. Uh, uh, start uh, warming up those roads just a little bit, yeah. Ginger, <laughs> right? There's some, a little bit of a, a chill out there, to say the least. We'll talk about your weekend in full detail in just a few minutes. We'll send it over to you for now. Yeah, and I was just thinking as I was looking at that shot of places like the Aquarium in the Pacific, I don't know specifically about them, I was looking it up, but there are probably a lot of places offering deals for veterans and their families, so hoping you take advantage of those. Should be offered every day. Some places do offer them every day. But for now, we are noticing that there were a lot of cars on the roads, and maybe things will start to die down here in just a little bit. 101 North or West Bendside, right here at about Shoop. It's a tough situation. We're talking about three cars, one losing control, overturning, two left lanes are blocked. It's a slow ride for our friends traveling through areas of Woodland hills and as we mentioned with so many cars on the road at this early hour you really have to watch out and be careful now we'll take you over to look at that drive out of Montebello Monterey Park and then points farther to the west in towards areas of say East LA 60 West Bendside past the 710 a pretty serious sounding crash car lost control overturning as well or careening down the embankment I should say so far it's still a great ride more volume than expected but not really showing up on our real-time traffic maps not yet anyway Chris back to you Ginger, thank you. We have breaking news from Garden Grove. The driver of a Tesla pulled to safety after this fiery crash. It happened about 1230 this morning at Magnolia Street and Garden Grove Boulevard. Witnesses say the Tesla was speeding when it slammed into two cars. A woman, a driver of the silver sedan, pulled out of her car with severe leg injuries. Her condition unknown. The conditions of the other two drivers, including the driver of that Tesla, also unknown. It was an unusual scene in Santa Monica last night after a pursuit standoff ended with police letting the driver go. Sky 5 was overhead as dozens of people watched. It was around 10 o'clock on Ocean Drive north of Colorado Avenue in the Santa Monica Pier. Standoff lasted over an hour before Santa Monica police eventually appeared to terminate it for unknown reasons. Driver was eventually seen slowly driving along nearby streets. It's still unclear why it started or if any arrests were made. Now, of four authorities on high alert this morning after a string of Southern California burglaries.